like to be back involved in practice today? Yeah, it felt good. Uh, felt good to, to actually get to participate in the Indies and, uh, you know, a little bit in, in practice drills. Um, like I said, um, been feeling really good. Uh, feeling, feeling strong, continuing to strengthen it. Uh, like I said, the, the, the strength staff uh, and the trainers have been doing a great job with me, uh, conditioning conditioning me a little bit over there too, uh, making sure uh, I'm continuing to get ready for the game or next time I'm able to play. Um, so, you know, it just felt great to be back out there a little bit. What's the last time you were out this long? Sorry. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. In, in college, uh, I really didn't practice that much, uh, you know, um, so I guess it's kind of very similar. Uh, just I'm doing more stuff on a, on my own and conditioning. Um, but in college, I really didn't take crazy loads in practice. So it's kind of similar to me. So I guess um, that kind of helped prepare me for moments like this. So you went from a like, speed of the game and the system and everything that you're going through with your mental reps on the side. Would you feel comfortable if you don't play in another preseason game to go out week one and be ready to go? Uh, can you say that again? Just like from all the mental reps that you've been doing and just from having that first taste of the preseason game, if you don't play against the Jets or the Patriots, would you feel comfortable week one? <laughs> would, I feel com- would I feel comfortable week one playing? Um, yeah, uh, I mean, obviously I, I would love to, to be out there and to play as quickly as possible as I can. Um, but, you know, I, you know that, that's part of the game. Injuries are part of the game. Um, that's even, say if I wasn't even uh, in in the role or position I am right now. You know, there's some guys that don't take as as much rest as they would like, and still have to go out there every single week and, and produce. So um, I have to take that mindset. And uh, when my when my time is called and when I'm able to play, I got to be 100 percent ready. Saquon, yesterday Eli said he actually likes that you ask so many questions. As you've sat out for the most part lately, have you continued to ask him? questions uh it's kind of hard to to ask them as much as much questions as I, as I would like um because most of the time I've been out like on the side on my own kind of away from the team um and just you know uh rehabbing and running and conditioning uh so I can stay physically in shape and uh strengthen my hamstring and you know c- continue to grow every single day so uh, I guess the, the questions have haven't been as much as they usually been um how do you feel in regards to like are you able, in your mind, to just go out there and play, and they're just trying to be careful with you, or do you still feel like the hamstring is something that needs to be built up? You can feel that it's not quite a hundred percent yet. Yeah, uh, personally, the way I the way I feel, my body feels. I, I I'll be honest. I feel I feel feel good. I feel 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 pretty good. I, I've been moving really well, um, but. You know that that's what the trainers get paid for. It's you know they, they tell me stories all the time and, and talk to other guys, uh, even like guys like oh that that hurt their hamstring before. It's, it's when you feel 100 percent and then that's when you give it that push, boom and it happens again. It's a setback and uh, I don't I don't want any setbacks at all. So um, that's why I've just been you know just just trying to be a, a team player there. Just listen and follow follow instructions and I know that they have a great game plan set out for me and uh, when it's time for me and when they feel I'm ready. Um, that's why I'll be ready. You're always going to kind of link to Darnold because you guys have two three in the same city. I'm just curious to get your thoughts on that because in your career, you're always going to sort of compare. Uh, me and Darnold? Yeah, because the Giants could have made a different decision and just you know. Um, hmm, I mean, you, the question is like how I feel about that. Uh, you know, I mean, that's, that's kind of something that don't really cross my mind. Um, you know, we, we play two different positions. I see what where, where, where you're saying, um, but, you know, I, I don't really look too too deep in that. Um, I only can focus and control what I can control. Um, I'm just thankful that the, the Giants uh, picked me, and I'm here, and I'm a New York Giant, and I'm playing for the best franchise in, in the league, and I'm going to continue to take advantage of the opportunity every single day and to continue to work every single day. How well do you know him? I will, uh, How well do you know Sam? Uh, you know, I, I know him. I got to know him a little bit during the, the draft process and um, a little bit. I wasn't a big Sam Darnold fan uh, after they beat us in a Rose Bowl game uh, my, my sophomore year. Uh, but that's just like a competitive thing. Uh, we joke around about that all the time. Um, but I got I got to got to get to know him a little bit more. So actually, we were on a whole flight together um, going to uh, the rookie the rookie premiere. Uh, so definitely got to know him a lot more, and you know, like I said, uh, not not only him. Uh, I said about the running backs, but with, with Sam, with, with 
Baker, with Chubb, with all those guys in my draft class. Uh, I want to see those guys to see. Um, I don't want to see Sam to see as much this week against us, um, but I, I just want, I wish nothing but success for all those guys and I uh, hope they have great careers. Okay, two more I know you, questions. I know you say you talked about the practice reps that you got at Penn State, but uh, how hard is it to focus and get the full benefit of the mental reps? Some guys, when, when they're, they, they're gimping and the trainer says pull them on the side, they lose focus and they can't necessarily get the mental stuff down as sharp as they want. Mm -hmm. Is that a hard thing for you to do at all? Uh, personally, for me, I, I don't. I don't think so. Um, I don't think so because you know, every everyone learns differently. Um, some people learn better on the field and actually, actually doing it. Some people learn better not doing it and just learning from watching film and studying the playbook. Uh, for me, I, I, I kind of do a little bit of both. I like doing a little bit of both. I like learning on the playbook and learning on film and watching film and then go out there doing it full speed. So I actually, I'm not able to have that. That, that side of it, but you know, like I said before, the difference between NFL and college, you, I don't got class to worry about. Um, only thing, only thing I really got to worry about is going home and taking care of my family. So I got football, family, football, family, and football and family for me. So uh, I have kind of have no choice but to, especially how good I want to be and how passionate I am about the game and. Uh, that's part of part of the life that I have to continue to continue to grow, and obviously I got to continue to get better with the mental part of the game. I'm not going to sit here and, and lie to you and say I'm I'm 100% perfect with the playbook. I'm I'm some vet and I've been playing in the league for 10 years. No, I'm still a rookie and I still got to get better in that area. But I definitely have a lot more time on my hand uh, to to continue to get better at the mental part. You, Last you, one. Have, you mentioned family. You have to uh, convince your dad not to wear a wink with that jersey on Friday. Ah, uh, that's a. Uh, I mean. Got the tattoo, so. Um, but I think uh, my dad. I don't think I know, uh, and I hope he sees this. Uh, that you know, he, he switches sides a little bit. Um, I think he's gonna come with his, his son and wear a Barkley jersey. Uh, I hope. Um, if he did, I'll kind of be a little upset. Uh, but you know, I can't, can't, can't truly be upset about that. And growing up, it's gonna be, it's gonna be. You know, obviously, I don't know what's. What, what I'm doing tomorrow, but you know, just to be out there and be in MetLife and uh, seeing my family and be across seeing the Jets and, and growing up kind of all comes in full circle. Um, it's you know, it's every just push me back and thinking the past of all the hard work and determination. And when I said I was a little kid and that I wanted to be in this position, um, you know, that 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 little time is all gonna come together.